In this video, I'll be showing you how to get the best Windows external executor. And the first thing is gonna be to go to the first link in the description and scroll down on the page until you guys see this blue download button right there. Of course, you're gonna wanna click on it, right? Of course, you wanna download it. So click, but then X out of the page that it opens because it's a pop-up. And there's gonna be one more, so click and X out again. And on the third time you guys click, you'll notice that it says Nizer external.zip danger download block. And you might be wondering, what is going on? Why? does it say this and this is actually a false positive which happens just because of how the executors are made and they're made to inject into roblox which could be seen as a little strange but we do need our aimbot and our executor to work so that is just something normal that all executors have so just ignore this and what you guys are going to want to do is go to your little taskbar and search for windows security right there so click on that and that should open up your antivirus and this is something you guys will have to turn off to use the executor and of of course, you guys can turn it back after, but you just have to allow Nizur because otherwise it will delete it. So click on manage settings under virus and threat protections right here. And then on real time protection, you guys are going to want to click on off. And then it should say real time protection is off. So that's what you guys need to do in order to continue with the download. And if you guys are not using Windows Defender and you're instead using a different antivirus, what you'll want to do is go to YouTube and search up how to fully disable insert antivirus name and then you guys should get a video tutorial on how to completely disable your antivirus which is necessary if you guys want to use any external or executor you do need to do this unfortunately so now go back to your browser and then you guys should see it on your downloads right there. So what you're going to want to do is click Control and J on your keyboard and that should show you your downloads page. And right here you guys can see Nizer External is right there. And what we're going to want to do is click on these three dots and then click on Download Dangerous File and then click on Download again. And that will allow you to continue with the download and then you can click on Show in Folder. And as you guys can see there it is right there. It's just called Nizer underscore external and it should only be called that if it's an exe straight away that is not the right thing you guys are kind of accidentally downloading a pop-up so make sure it is just called only nizer external zip okay so let's bring it into a folder let's just name this whatever you want nizer let's open it up and then what you guys are going to want to do is of course extract here and then it will have the process so now before we open it we're actually going to want to open roblox first so here we are in arsenal so let's double click on nizer right here it should open an admin prompt and you guys are going to want to click on yes and then it'll open up this command prompt and this little window that says block strap is not installed so if you guys follow the remaining instructions and it's still not working you will need to click on yes on this but for now i know i think it should work just fine without block strap so let's continue and then it will open the one sheets page where you guys can buy a lifetime key for an azure of course you guys can use it completely for free on the key system which i will show you how to do exactly but if you guys don't want to do a key system every time you use it you could get a lifetime license that will never expire for their ai version and their external on this shop right here but let's start off with our key system right here first off we're gonna have to do the first checkpoint which is gonna be a loot labs and if you guys are familiar with loot labs then this should be pretty straightforward but basically you just have to click on this button and then you guys don't really have to install the advertisement you just have to wait 47 seconds now so let's give it a second And now that's complete, so you guys will see this check mark and you click on unlock content. And now we do the next checkpoint. We click on this button right here for the next checkpoint. And this is the second step. Now it's gonna be a link for ties. So once again, you guys click on get Nizer and then you click on one of the advertisements. So you click, I'm interested, learn more. Let's learn more about CDs, okay? And after you guys click on it a few times, you can just wait on this page. And then in a second, it should say, I have already completed the step and you'll be able to continue. And now, we're going to be on the last step, which we can get our key right here. Bam. And if you guys ever have another task, then just do the next key system part. And then you will be able to get your license key right here. And once again, this is a 24 hour license. So let's get started right away. Here we are in a game and we got the command prompt that opened earlier. Let's paste it in, press enter, and then bam, it should say open, but don't click off just yet because now I'm going to be showing you how to correctly configure Nizer and all the features it has to offer. Thank you. 
okay. So I just turned on some aimbot settings, let me configure visuals, bam, and we got all our visuals set up, so now we can get to work. And as you guys can see, it locks on really well and it's pretty smooth, the visuals are also like very smooth as you guys can see, there's not really any lag, which was a problem with earlier versions of Nazar I remember, but now it looks like they have fixed it, so that's pretty nice. And honestly, I think its performance is pretty on par with like paid externals. I think it's crazy that some externals are paid only and you can't even use them for free when they're literally like half as good as this so uh, i definitely recommend if you guys do want an external to try out nazar because they're also coming out with their new version pretty soon i'm pretty sure so this is still v2 and they have been making some updates as you guys can tell i mean it's way better and it locks down like perfectly so i just can't wait until v3 i know they're gonna be releasing some new features they put some teasers i've seen on their discord so it's probably gonna be pretty insane and it looks like this guy survived not anymore all right kill this guy and it's just insane i mean guys look how smooth the aimbot like it doesn't jitter whatsoever so i think it, that's just so great it's like using a normal aimbot script on windows roblox which is something you definitely can't do anymore obviously and look at this i'm destroying everybody i'm surprised i haven't gotten hackies aided yet but you know you get the idea i am in first place not by much actually i'm only in first place by 10 kills which to be fair is a decent amount but we should be at 30 kills and they should all of the other players should be at zero you know <laughs> all right it looks like we got some easy kills right here yeah oh hold on hold on who am i gonna kill first okay come on like i always say guys you know externals do help but some skill issues are just so bad you know they can only do a certain amount kill that guy this guy's well get out of there guys i'm not winning nearly as fast as i should be and guys the craziest thing with this external executor is when you are like aimbotting somebody through the sky like if they use a rocket launcher and they're like way up there you perfectly killed it's so crazy but it looks like there's some people leaving the game maybe they know i'm just too good i don't know but nevertheless bam i'm just spawn killing these dudes man i kind of feel bad but hate the player not the game or no no it's hate the game not the player yeah that's what it is oh God, knife him look at that i just knifed him i am him even though i'm using a button and an esp but you get the idea so guys definitely make sure to go check out nizur because this update is pretty goaded as you guys can tell uh, i'll also leave Leave the config I'm using on my Discord. I'll actually announce it, I guess, or I'll make sure you guys can use my config because that's what it's all about. If you guys have a bad config, Nazur is trash. But if you guys have a good one like this, it works perfectly. So it all just depends on your config and you really have to have a good one. And if you don't, it's just not good to use. So I'll try to give this config to you guys so you can also use it. Of course, it's ideal to have a different one for each game. Like for example, the hood has a much different shooting system than Arsenal for example and that applies to other games of course so this config is perfect for arsenal i don't know how well it would work on other games but i'm sure it would work to some extent okay so i guess it's up to you guys to test so check out Nizur first link in the description if you guys want to get it once again watch the tutorial once more if you guys didn't understand a certain part i have timestamps down below so check them out and thank you for sticking along till the end that helps the channel the most watch that video on how to get eve on android which is an execute if you guys want to use scripts and that video right there which is a blocks fruit script perfect and i'll catch you in one of those bye bye